so I'm glad you're here. I've been thinking, what has no lungs but lives and breathes? What can taste with its feet? Ew! What lives but never poops? Do you know what that would do to us? I don't even want to go there. But explosion does cross my mind. to a super cool place today and you'll find out where that is in just a minute but there's one thing i wish i would have known before i went there and i'll tell you what that is at the end of this video so keep watching okay these next clues just might give it away it sees smells and hears with its antennas and it can fly up to 30 miles an hour Whoa, that's right, Superman. And when it eats, its mouth is like a straw, and it rolls out when it eats, and rolls in when it's done. Write in the comments below what you think this creature is, and I'll be right back. When we think of all the changes that we go through from the time we are born until we grow old, it doesn't even come close to the life cycle of the butterfly. We don't morph into a whole new creature like they can. We don't even morph at all. But if I could, I think Paul had the right idea. A dragon would be cool. Tell me in the comments below what you would morph into. Now you see why every time I see a caterpillar, I think, now that's a butterfly hiding in plain sight. I mean, just imagine, it starts out as a tiny egg. But then it chews its way out of its shell. Nom, 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 nom. And when it crawls out, it's so tiny that it can fit on the head of a pin. Seriously, can you see this from there? It gets its first nutritional meal from eating the shell it just hatched from. Then it starts chowing down on the leaf that its egg was attached to. Basically, at that point, it becomes an eating machine. Well, that might have been a little much. Give me just one second. Anyway, the more they eat, the more they grow, and they shed their skin, like Bella the snake. When it is ready to shed its skin for the last time, come with me for a second. It attaches itself to the bottom of a twig. It only takes a few minutes. 
minutes for it to get out of its skin. And form a cocoon. Then it hangs up with it for a week and a half. But in that time, the most amazing miracle happens. It morphs into a butterfly. It's like the caterpillar suddenly turns into a superhero in 10 days. Who does that? Well, the caterfly. That's who. See how I did it? Caterpillar. Butterfly. Caterfly. Nah. Okay, you get it. I've told you this before that one of my top picks in superhero powers is flying. Contact. Contact. <laughs> But in the next 30 minutes, fluid is pumped into them so they expand to full size. That is just epic. So there's this new exhibit that just opened up called the Butterfly Biosphere. And you and I are going to go check it out with my nephew Beckham and my buddy Cutter with a sneak peek of my adorable niece Esme. Let's go! I don't eat that orange thing. Well, here's another one. There's a fly. Oh, that's a real one. Look at that tarantula right in the front. Do you see it? That's behind all Whoa, of them. Whoa, that's, that's a tarantula. real one. Baby. There's, little pink, there's a little pink baby one. Oh, look at that one. It's so small. Look at the tree one. But look, exactly there, like a scorpion. And another! Is it close you? Okay. Yeah, you good. Now, we'll get your butterfly. Twist it into a ring.
have to be 85 degrees or warmer for them to fly.